Some people are complaining about size, shape, and girth of the PSVR 2 controllers. And there was a company called Moco that dropped an accessories kit to try to help with that, although I bought it, and now it's already missing from Amazon. So this will be interesting to see what it was and why it died so quickly, or maybe it was so great they sold out so fast they had to take the listing off Amazon. I doubt it. $17.15 is what I paid for some bubble wrap and two individual lens covers. They look like they actually clip on and are made exactly for those. So that gives me some, some hope and promise that people who are making prescription lenses are gonna have an easy time. A big problem with this kit that I'm gonna have is because it no longer is available on Amazon, I can't even look at like the details, anything, instructions, I'm, I'm on my own. But it looks pretty straightforward. Basically, you get two kits of extendy, stick-outy, I don't, I don't know, grip button things. Like it shows you on here, you got your R1, your L1, your R2, and then there's the one that I would have liked to get a closer look at how it was supposed to be installed was the hand one, but no such luck. So let's see. They're just on a pad with some sticky adhesive. Oh my gosh. What? Okay. They are part of the pad. They're not on a pad. You have to rip them out of the pad and then peel this off and then attach it to the button. They give you two sets in case you screw up your first try. Okay. I am curious why they're missing from Amazon already. I gotta say, as far as the, the grip button goes, I kinda actually like that it makes it stick out a little more, gives it a bit more substantial feel. And I feel like it's not gonna be as fatiguing to hold in with that little extra sticking out. I don't love the fact that I have to like peel them out of this thing because I feel like I'm gonna mess them up. Oh boy, you're, you're just ripping silicone. That's what you're doing. Okay, R2. Now the buttons are probably the easiest to do because it's very clear where they go on and off. I really don't know where those went. The trigger's gonna give you a little more grip on the bottom. It's got these ridges here. It's kind of ribbed, unlike the original button, which just has the actual texture of it, but this is now like a silicone feel with some ribs. So. I think that might be an improvement. I wonder where this thing was supposed to go. I'm gonna try to look at the picture and see if I can at least kind of zoom in on it. Gosh, you hit it and it goes, uh-oh, something went wrong. Gives you a cute doggo to look at to make you feel better. But because of that, I can't see the original one. So it looks like, it looks like it's supposed to go on the side away from the grip button. So it looks like it's supposed to go on here somewhere. So, okay. This was actually the part I was the most excited about too. And now I don't even know where the F to put it. Like it's just not obviously clear because there's no outline or anything. Like where do I want that to land? I guess I can try to hold it. Okay. I think I want it right about there. So yeah, you're just, you're just eyeballing this one. I don't like that. So I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna try to put it in my hand where I want it to go. I'm gonna try and get a hold of my controller. Oh gosh. And then I'm gonna try to just, just, there we go. Squeeze that on, squeeze it on. Okay, that's nice that it's on theme with the colors and then it kind of like gives you a little break in the dark color there with that. Although these things being silicone white, they're probably gonna get dingy. Give me a second, I'm gonna install these other ones. I'll be right back. Okay, they're on. First impressions, uh, install wasn't too bad. Obviously the hand portion was a bit weird. Initial impression, I do like the feel. I'm used to using silicone grips on most of my controllers. I like the way silicone feels in my hands. And I do feel like the extra grip on the triggers feels nice. The little ribs here feel good. It feels like you're not gonna slip off as easy. I think most of all so far, the grip buttons, I thought at first I liked how they didn't really stick out, but I learned with how tight you have to hold them. I found that kind of annoying after a while. I wanted to like have more of a protruding button and feel like I knew it was there. So I kind of like that. And surprisingly, the hand grip, I think I like the most because the controllers always felt kind of small. They worked for my hands fine, but that little bit of extra grip right there, that extra ridge, a little extra girth, it feels nice in my hand shape. So I do like all that about it. The big test is gonna be in game. So I'm gonna take these away for a while, go game some games, see how they feel, see how they hold up because I am worried with just that one time adhesive going on something that's already not like a smooth surface, like they were textured to be buttons. I'm worried that they're not gonna hold up very well on that. So I'm gonna go play around and come back at you with some final thoughts. We're back, but the one other accessory I wanted to talk about that came with this is these lens covers. Now, because the PSVR lenses are so big and they have a shape to them, my other lens covers I've had from the past don't really seem to wanna work. So let's try these out. So it's got a right one. Actually holds on quite well, almost a little scary how well it holds on. 
You can get it back off, but at first you're kind of pulling out, you're worried you're gonna rip something off your lens. I like that it's two hard covers instead of like, a lot of them go across the middle, but the problem is if you try to use those in play, they'll activate your headset. Not that you have to worry about that as much with a wired headset for traveling, but you know what, for just the lens covers, I gotta say, I actually like these and I will continue to use the lens covers anytime I take this anywhere and I'm worried about anything happening to my lenses. Even just if it's in your living room somewhere where you're worried the sun could occasionally get near those lenses, these are actually a good cover to keep it protected. So I like that. And let's talk about my time with these. The first thing that was a big learning kind of surprise I wanna talk about, when you're playing PSVR 2, you're getting into it, you're moving a lot and you're having a lot of fun, but you don't really notice because the controllers are plastic. They don't really seem to retain heat. You just don't notice that they're causing you more heat, except for the fact if your hands are sweating. These really retain some heat being sandwiched in there between your hands and the controller. You notice that heat quickly and you notice that your hands feel hot and then they start to sweat. Although when you're sweating with the silicone, you can hold on better than you could have normally. But if you were someone whose hands didn't normally sweat that much playing, I feel like you're now sweatier and therefore dealing with that more. If you were already sweating, it's good. It gives you more grip. If you weren't a sweater, you're probably gonna sweat a little now and it might be kind of gross. The grip button, I was really surprised by. I actually really like how much that protrudes and how it has that little bit of padding for when I'm holding it. It also gives it a shape here, a finger shape in the middle. That ridge gives me a bit more of like a ergonomic feel and a grip on the grip button. The padding of it, pushing on it, I really like those. The triggers, I didn't feel like I really noticed that much in gameplay. I kind of noticed that there was those little ribs on there that kind of help, but for the most part, it just kind of felt like the same triggers when I was playing, just a little thicker which was okay. I do feel like those, like I said, I was worried about the adhesive already. You can kind of notice the line around them. And so it makes me think that those might not stay on, especially with how much you do this number. Those might not hold up as well, but really I'm mostly interested in these for these and kind of for these. I said they stopped selling them on Amazon, but what I did find was a couple other companies are selling the same ones now and they're on sale and there's a coupon. You can get them for like $10, which is a much better deal. And honestly, I would say if you're thinking about getting them, get them mostly for the lens covers. You might consider trying these out because I think per person, it's gonna be different whether you like them or not. But the ultimate test to me, I actually have two PSVR 2s and it comes with two sets. And I ask myself after playing with these, am I gonna install the other set? And I think, yeah, I definitely am. I might not install the triggers, but I'm definitely gonna install the other bits, which makes me ultimately say, I gotta, I gotta say, hey, I like them enough to use them myself. So if you're interested in them, I'll leave a link in the description. It's about $10 for a set, which isn't bad. It's gonna give you the lens protectors. What do you think? I'd love to know in the comments if any of you have tried any of these. I know that a lot of people have seen some of the PSVR accessories pop up and gotten them already to check them out. I'd love to know what you thought and did you decide kind of like me? You liked some of them, maybe not all of them. So maybe you didn't stick with all of them. Let me know in the comments, but I wanna say thanks for coming out and being here. I'll see you in another reality.